I'd like to share with you today my experiences with the different types of couplers for O scale. In particular, uh, I'd like to talk about the new generation of KD O scale coupler. It's the AAR type E coupler, which is an improvement over the 805 KDs which have been the standard for O scale for for many years and uh, but before we take a look at the new generation let's take a look at the Atlas couplers that come with the Master Series Atlas car but the performance is pretty stiff I mean they, you can see here they don't couple up easily you kind of have to bang them together pretty good so you see here, uh, after uh, using a flathead screwdriver, a small one, I'm, I'm able to uncouple it with a little bit of wrestling around. Uh, but the Atlas coupler is uh, is quite difficult to uncouple manually. So one of the things we want to do is uh, <laughs> is remove the the Atlas coupler and replace it with the new generation coupler and um, I find the technique of pulling back uh, as you see here is better than prying up the lid it, I used to pry up the lid and, and they would go flying around the room everybody has that difficulty um, it's a little easier to it's kind of a tongue and groove and, and grab a hold and pull that groove back until the lid pops take it right off quite easily like this so the, the KD new generation is quite good looking. Um, uh, I find it has the, the palm and thumb are, are rounded while the atlas is, is kind of a pointed. I, I really like the look of the, uh, of the new KD, new generation KDs. So here we have a couple of the traditional KD 805s. And as you see, they, they uh, perform wonderful. They couple right up. They're automatic couplers. Easily couple and uncouple. And you can't beat that. So, uh, and as you see, the 805s, uh, they don't look too bad either. And so a skewer uh, easily uncouples them. And that's why these have been a favorite for years the new generation coupler couples up just as easy if not easier than the uh, the 805s so coupling up automatic coupling with the new generation is outstanding and you would notice the the difference in appearance too there's no knuckle spring exposed so you don't see the knuckle spring so that's another big plus on the appearance of the new generation type and as you see it actually uncouples quite easily with the skewer I hadn't had any difficulty with it in fact I think the bigger skewer works even easier than, than the smaller one however as you notice it does take a little bit more finagle not much but a little bit more finagle than the 805s I'm showing you how it works with the different types of skewers the thin skewer the fat skewer and here a pencil they all work just fine uh, but you do have to finagle just a little bit more with the new generation but not too difficult and then uh, uh, a flathead screwdriver also works just fine so I think everybody will find their tool of preference putting the new generation coupling it up to an, an 805 original KDs no problem at all and uncoupling no problem either the new generation coupler coupling up to an Atlas coupler uncoupling them is just as problematic as atlas to atlas so quite quite a struggle um, 
I pretty much decided I'm going to remove all my Atlas couplers and go with new generation. Uh, I have uh, most of my cars have the 805. Uh, I'll just keep those. There's nothing wrong with them. They perform extremely well, of course. And uh, for the time being, I'll just keep the 805 cars with the with those couplers and uh, replace all of my Atlas with the new generation couplers. Now here's um, an Atlas coupler on the left and a Protocraft coupler. So uh, you can, as you can see in the background there, I'm taking my thumb and I'm uncoupling by throwing a lever which pushes the pin up and unlocks the the uh, Protocraft coupler. Now the difficulty I'm having with the uh, oh and I'm sh what I'm showing here is the Protocraft coupler also couples up nicely with the Atlas. And although it, it doesn't claim compatibility with any other type, uh, it does couple up to, to most of the other ones. But it really isn't compatible. Uh, I find the protograph of all of the couplers is the easiest to uncouple, but the most difficult to couple, even with each other. And the reason why is they are realistic. They operate just like a, an actual uh, prototype and that they're not autom they're automatic but they lock now the difference is KDs are automatic and unlocked in other words the KDs never lock they don't uncouple when you dr when you're riding your train because of the knuckle spring so you not only have to unlock it you have to then throw the knuckle open so the hand is in the open position so the you can couple up with the with another car I find this to be very problematic but a conductor has to unlock the couple and then take his hand and swing the knuckle open before he can couple up and join to another car and what you do they, they do couple up as you can see um, and then they even if you don't have the lever arm you can also see I can just poke the pin up and it uncouples quite nicely because of this fact, though, I've kind of decided that I'm probably not going to be using my Protograph couplers and replacing them with the new generation. You will notice that the KDs are a little bit larger, but they couple up. And if you don't have a, you can put a magnet on a skewer and that will pull the pin up. So you don't have to reach in from the side if you don't want to and pull the pin up from up above without approaching it from the side. These are weaver couplers, and uh, they also are a little bit larger than uh, Protocraft, and so, but they also, to me, look quite nice, and they perform well, so, and they are compatible with everything else, uh, at least, uh, you know, the KDs and the Atlas, they, uh, so weaver has no trouble coupling up. So also automatic couplers, they look nice. You don't see any uh, uh, spring. But uh, in a little stiffer un uncoupling, kind of like the uh, new generation is. But the new generation couples quite easily. So on my Weaver cars, I'm pretty much just going to leave those couplers right there. I mean, they work fine with everything else. There's no reason to replace them, at least not for now. And you can take a good look straight down on them. They, they look okay. Weaver to Atlas. No trouble at all. Very nice, easy. You just won't be able to uncouple them. Yeah, what I don't like about the coupling ramp is the delay action. Although you can realistically spot the car anywhere on the layout where you want, uh, first spot the car on a ramp uh, and then remove the slack, let the coupler swing uh, with the mag over the magnet, and then. Uh, uh, then push the couplers together in the delay position and then you can push your car into the spot you want uh, That's a lot of extra moves that are not prototypical and I just uh, that's not what I want to do So I much rather prefer the hands-on 
of manually uncoupling with the skewer on the spot but as you can see that requires a really good performing uh, coupler and KDs have been very good with this Atlas couplers are quite uh, difficult now the other nice thing about the new generation coupler they are a little stiffer than the 805s so you don't have the slinky effect as as much as you do with the 805s so that's been my experiences with the uh, many different O scale couplers how they look and how they perform if you have some experiences I'd love to hear uh, what you're using and and your thoughts and your your own uh, preferences on uh, coupling and uncoupling devices just post in the comments below hope you enjoyed and until next time